Hey guys, whenever we're talking about fear, we can also talk about previous trauma. Got a minute? A lot of times fear stems itself from previous trauma, whether it be whenever you were a child growing up or, or even more recent. Things like abuse, rape, these things are serious stuff and they can cause us to have fears well into our life. But we're still not called to have a spirit of fear, so how do we overcome these things? Let me say first off that this is not an easy thing to do. Paul says this, Therefore, if you have any encouragement from being united with Christ, if any comfort from his love, if any common sharing in the Spirit, if any tenderness and compassion, then make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and of one mind. So this encouragement that comes in the body of Christ happens whenever we are together in like mind. One thing that you might be afraid of that you're not mentioning, it might be to share your experience with someone else. A lot of times fear will put us in a room and we want anybody to come into that room. We don't want them to know the experience that we have. That is us keeping that room in the dark. So God wants to bring that thing out to the light. It's not something you have to share far and wide, but someone that you trust, share with them the experience that you had. And if someone shares with you their experience, encourage them, pray for them. But by bringing this thing out of the dark into the light, then it starts to lose its hold over you. And I know that's a scary thing. Like I said, this takes a lot of courage, but you can't get to the encouragement from others until they know what it is that you're going through. I promise you there are people around you that love you and that want to see the best for you. So bringing these things out to the light will do that for you and it will allow fear to be able to leave you. But that's the first step is you have to open the door and let people in. Thanks for spending a minute.